My friend Jenny was asked to foster a young kitten for a few days. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to feed a young kitten with a bottle. It's not as easy as it may sound, and there are a few things definitely not to do. So coming up next, feeding a kitten with a bottle. bottle fed a couple of kittens before this one. Uh, Jenny's cat Shambi came out from under my shed and also Mr. Muffin was wandering around my neighborhood before I adopted him. And each of those times I learned something new about feeding uh, young kittens and I hope to share that experience with you. First, let's talk a little bit about formula. You need to get formula for the kitten and you usually have to get it pretty quickly. There's no time to order it from Amazon or Chewy or any other pet store. In general, young kittens need to eat every two to four hours. And so you can find formula generally at a brick and mortar pet store. You can also find it at, possibly at large grocery stores if they have a pet section. But uh, you definitely cannot give it regular milk. I know you're thinking, or you might be thinking milk is milk, right? Well, when it comes to kittens, the answer is no. Regular milk, whether it's cow's milk or goat's milk or soy milk or anything else that sounds like milk or has milk in its name, either has ingredients that a kitten cannot digest or does not have all the ingredients, all the nutrients that a kitten needs to thrive. So please do not use that. Go out and get kitten formula. In addition, you're going to need to get uh, a feeding kit of some sort, usually a little bottle, with uh, various nipples of different sizes uh, and other things that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Because of the frequency with which they need to eat, that means that you will probably need to get up in the middle of the night to feed young kittens. Uh, if they're very young, it might mean every two hours or every three hours. Eventually, it'll become four hours. Uh, fortunately, it, they do not take that long to feed. Uh, just warm up the formula, feed it to them, and put them back in the little nest that you created for them, uh, and they'll go right back to sleep. Kitten formula comes in uh, dry powder form and in also milk form. Today we're going to be taking a look at the powder form and how to use that. Before we feed the kitten, I want to mention a couple of important things. One is, if you see a kitten alone or a couple of kittens alone, it does not necessarily mean that they have been abandoned. They might be in the process of being moved or the mother might have moved them temporarily because of some threat that she feels. Wait three or four hours at least to see if the mother is coming back. Keep an eye on the kittens, but don't necessarily move them. They might not be abandoned. And the best place for a kitten is with its mother. If the kitten is wandering around by itself, if it's crying, if it looks like it is looking for help or its mother, then it's possible that it has been abandoned. But if it's sitting quietly under a bush, if it's under your shed, if it's somewhere else that it looks like it might be a slightly secure place for, for, for a while, uh, give it time. The second thing that you want to be aware of, and this is particularly important when it's cold, whether it's early spring, whether it's uh, fall, or maybe even early winter, is that you should not feed a kitten when it is cold, if it has hypothermia. The first thing to do is warm it up. Wrap it up in a towel, hold it close to you, give it some of your body warmth, warm the kitten up before you feed it. So here I am at Jenny's house uh, to take a look at the new kitten that she's fostering. So this is the kitten. He's got some issue with his, with his uh, eye, but you can tell that his eyes are still blue. So he's still a very little kitten. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what we'll need to um, make this uh, formula. This is the formula that uh, we are we are using uh, for now and this is the kit for the feeding the kittens you have a little bottle it shows you measurements in both milligrams and tablespoons there are several uh, nipples of different sizes 
and also a little uh, brush that can be used to clean the bottle. There's nothing complicated about this. In this case, the um, measurement for the formula is two to one, two, one part formula, two parts water. So I'll take the formula that I need and I will add the water. Then you want to mix it up uh, well. Make sure that there are no lumps so that it doesn't clog the nipple. I use glass because this way um, I can put it in the microwave safely. Plastics, especially the cheaper plastics, are not safe for microwaves. Okay, let's microwave it. I think uh, for this amount of formula, about eight seconds should be enough time to heat it up properly. All right. Once it's warmed up, pour it into the bottle. It's easier here with this little spout. So pour it into the bottle. Shake it up a little bit so that uh, there are no hot spots in the formula. Make sure that it's not too hot. Okay, we're ready to uh, feed the kitten. And the first thing to know is that you should not feed it on its back like you would a baby. Uh, think about how a kitten feeds with its mom. It feeds on its stomach. And that's the way you should feed it, either on its stomach or sitting up. Uh, but not on its back. Uh, if it's on its back, it's possible that it could inhale the formula and that would be very bad for it. It should not be necessary to squeeze the, the, the feeding bottle. Uh, the hole should be large enough so that the um, formula flows through uh, without um, clogging up. As you can see with this bottle, we cut the opening a little too big and now uh, the formula is flowing a little too freely but it's not a big problem. We'll clean up uh, the kitten uh, later. If they uh, are gulping too quickly, slow them down a little, that's fine. Uh, give them a little time to, give the formula a little time to go down to their stomach. Uh, they will, the kittens will generally let you know when they've had enough. They won't want to feed anymore. But if you are interested, uh, here's a chart which tells you how much to feed uh, kittens at different stages of their, of their lives. Sometimes they come back for a little bit more, so don't necessarily clean, clean up immediately. You can give them a few minutes to see if they want any more before you put everything away. In general, the younger the kitten, the smaller it, each meal, but the more frequently it eats. Uh, and the older the kitten, the larger its meals and the less frequently it eats. Another thing to be aware of with larger kittens is they have teeth and they may, might start chewing on the nipples. Um, just be aware that they could chew through it. You want to be careful that they don't uh, bite off a piece of the plastic because they could swallow it or they could choke on it if it's large enough. Um, before uh, going into the final steps, let me just say something about this particular kitten. The people who brought it uh, to Jenny to foster uh, had taken the mother, had caught the mother and taken it, her to the Humane Society. This was before they knew that the mother was feeding kittens. It's very important if you are a catch a stray, especially if it's a female, to see if she is feeding, to see if she has kittens before you take her away. They said that uh, the cat uh, was angry and sort of mean, which is natural. If you are taking her away from her kittens, that she's going to be agitated and possibly aggressive. So you can check, see if, if her teats are full, if she might be feeding and don't separate the family. If you can keep them together, that's the best place for those kittens to be is with their mother. In any case, with this particular kitten, uh, Jenny was able to contact the Humane Society and they told her they had the mo mother cat. So this kitten is shortly going back uh, to be with uh, his mother and uh, grow up with her for at least a few more weeks. After feeding the kitten, uh, wipe it uh, down with a wet cloth. That's what his mother would do. So, uh, she would uh, clean it with her tongue. 
So mimic uh, the mother's tongue with a warm, wet cloth. In addition, the kitten might have swallowed some air because a plastic nipple is not the same as, as its mother, and so might have swallowed some air and might need some burping to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. Do it the same way you would with a baby. Pat its back gently, and uh, you might just be surprised how big some of those burps are. There are other things that you need to be aware of when uh, taking care of a young kitten. Uh, this video is focused on how to feed it with a bottle, but be aware that uh, young kittens need help uh, with peeing and pooping. They also need to be socialized the, uh, the way their, their own litter mates would socialize them. So interacting with it is important. Giving it a warm place to sleep uh, is important. All of these things, um, hopefully I will be able to cover in other video, videos, but there is no time in this video to uh, do a whole tutorial on taking care of a, of a baby kitten. If you like this content, please um, like the video and subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you again in the next video.